we are live hi everyone welcome back to geeks for geeks practice today in this video we'll be discussing the geeks for geeks problem of the day for 28th of feb the name of the problem is hit most balloons uh, so consider giving me a plus one the chat if my voice is clearly audible to all of you and the screen is visible this is a very interesting problem that we'll be discussing today Previously, this problem has been asked in PayPal. So that's the only company that has asked this question, but it's a very good question to be honest. So just uh, hit the like button guys and give me a plus one in the chat if my voice is clearly audible and the screen is visible, right? And then we can start with this particular video. I hope the voice is clear. Okay, hi Shreya. Right, so let's uh, start with this problem. So the problem name is hit most balloons. The name of this particular problem is hit most balloons, right? And this problem previously has been asked in PayPal, right? So just give me a plus one in the chat, guys, and hit the like button so that we can start with the video, right? Okay. Hi, Shreya. Hi, Aditya. And hi, Dinesh. So in this particular problem, what, uh, what does this problem say? So the problem says that you'll be given an infinite two digit grid. So basically you'll be given a two digit grid, basically a two dimensional grid, sorry. So you'll be given a two dimensional grid, something like this, let's say uh, infinite grid. So basically this is kind of a grid. So this kind of a grid you'll be given. I'll draw it for you. So this will be infinite in all the directions it will be expanding basically. So what you have to do is uh, there are n balloons placed on certain coordinates in on this grid, right? So on this grid, what happens is there are n balloons, right? On this particular grid, there are n balloons. Let's say one of the balloons is here. Let's say another balloon is at this particular place, right? Let's say another balloon is it uh, at this index. Then another balloon is it uh, at this index, right? Let's say another balloon is at uh, this particular index, right? So what you have to do is uh, you have n balloons, right? So suppose n value was five here, right? So you total have n balloons. So this is an infinite grid and you'll be given the coordinates. You'll be given the X and the Y coordinates of all the n, ba n balloons that are placed at every different cell, right? Suppose this is the cell. So you'll be given X1, comma Y1 or things like these, right? So you'll be given the X and the Y coordinate for every uh, cell where the balloon is placed, right? This is what you'll be given. And what you have to do is uh, you will be also given an arrow, right? So you have an arrow with yourself, uh, which will be using to shoot the balloons, right? So you'll be ha having an arrow. Basically, you have to shoot it like this. So you'll be having an arrow. And what you can do is with that arrow, you, you can shoot that arrow in a particular direction, right? So you can select any point on the grid as your starting point, right? So since you'll be shooting, so you will have any point as the starting point. So you can have any point as the starting point. In this particular grid, you can have any point as the starting point. It's not necessary that a balloon is present there or a balloon is not present there. And it might happen that there might be uh, one or more balloons present in the grid. That can may be possible as well, right? So what you can do is let's suppose that you stand here, right? Let's suppose that you stand at this particular position. And what you do is you shoot an arrow at in this particular direction. So all the balloons coming in this particular direction will be shot down by this particular arrow. So all the balloons will be hit by this particular arrow, right? Uh, now, let's say if you are hitting from here, let's say you're hitting from here and you're hitting in this particular direction. So if you hit in this direction, so this particular balloon, all the balloons coming in this particular direction, all the balloons coming in this particular thing will get uh, burst, right? Now, let's suppose that if I was somewhere here, if I was here, and I was shooting in this particular direction. Give me a second, I'll just update it. So let's say if I was uh, here, right, is this question up till now clear to everyone? Let's say if I was here, so what I can do is, I can uh, maybe if I shoot in this particular direction, right? If I shoot in this particular direction, so all the balloons coming in this particular direction will get shot down, right? So I can see that here I'm able to shoot two balloons, right? Here in this, when I shoot in this particular direction, so I'm able to shoot two balloons, right? Uh, so this is the maximum so far that I've seen. Another thing that I could do is I can uh, I can stand anywhere, right? So I can also stand at this particular index, right? So if I stand at this index where a balloon is actually present beforehand, right? A balloon was actually present here, right? A balloon was actually present here. And now I'm also standing here. So that's why when I'll shoot, so this balloon will also get burst. So one balloon I count here. Then if I shoot in this particular direction, right? In, in this particular direction, basically. So what will happen is this balloon, this balloon and this balloon. I'm standing here at this particular index. So this balloon, uh, which is standing here with get shot down, this balloon will get shot down. This, this balloon will also get shot down, right? So total three balloons will get shot down. 
so basically what you have to do is you have to stand at any particular cell in the uh, in the grid and what you have to do is you have to try to maximize the number of balloons that you will be shooting down right is this clear to everyone please write clear in the chat guys and hit the like button please write clear in the chat and hit the like button if you have understood this problem right i hope that you have understood this problem okay now what you can do is you can select any point and you can uh, shoot the arrow right when you fire the arrow balloons lying on the shortest path between the starting point and the target point will get get burst that is basically as i said if you shoot in a particular direction so all the balloons in li lying in that particular direction will get burst right so you'll be given the end coordinates of all the points in an in form of an array so basically what will be given is let's say you for the is point you'll be given the x coordinate as arr i0 and the y coordinate will be given as arr of i one right please write clear in the chat guys if you have understood it please write clear in the chat please give me a plus one in the chat okay right so this much part is done now your task is to find the maximum number of balloons that you can uh, that you can fire in one shot right so in one shot what is the maximum number of balloons that you can shoot down that you can hit right so that is what you have to find so how can we do this particular thing now let me know one thing let me know one thing if you are shooting from anywhere in the grid right let's assume that the grid is since the grid is very large so i'm not drawing the grid for some uh, simplification purpose let's say if here i had the balloon if here i also have the balloon if here i also have the balloon let's say i have the balloon in this direction as well let's say i have the balloon in this direction let's say i have the balloon in the, in this direction right so what i can do is i can uh, any at any particular point i can sit down at any particular coordinate and then i can hit down the balloon right so suppose that i am standing here right and if i shoot in this particular direction right uh, so one balloon will be hit but if i shoot it like this if i shoot it like this in with this particular slope so this straight line will hit all the balloons in lying in this particular direction right i'll just uh, use the shapes thing give me a second okay so if i shoot it like this if i shoot it like this so this will get uh, exhausted like this right so that's why all these balloons lying in this particular direction will get shot on let's say a uh, few several balloons were lying in this direction so when i shoot a balloon from this particular position so all the balloons will get shot down right now what's the special thing about these uh, balloons so if you see that this is a this is nothing but a straight line right whenever i am shooting from a particular point this is nothing but a straight line and what is the special thing about a straight line that the slope of a straight line remains the same so that means that if this is a point let's say this is a point x comma y right and this is a point p comma q and this is a point let's say m comma n right and this is a point let's say a comma b so can i say that all these points will be having the same slope that is uh, that is p minus y upon uh, q by uh, sorry that is q minus y let's say i talk about the slope uh, between if i talk about the slope between pq and xy so what will be the slope the slope will be nothing but uh, y minus q upon x minus p right this will be the slope similarly if this is slope is same so this slope will be same right can i say that all the balloons lying in the same slope if they if they have to be uh, shot down by this particular line this particular straight line so that means that they will have the same slope right so if i know if i know the slope between the starting point that is x comma y and the uh, target point right and, and any other point so if i shoot it like this right so when i'm shooting it so i can say that for the points that are having the same slopes with uh, with the x comma y initial ta initial point that i am assuming assuming that i am assuming that uh, okay this is my starting point so in that case all the points that is that are having the same slopes will get hit by this particular arrow right that is what will happen so that is what you have to do in this question that is what you have to do let's say let's say you you have several points right let's say you have how many points you have n points so definitely you you will write that uh, you will not shoot from anywhere right you will try maybe to shoot from all the end points possible or something like that so what you can do is let's say you choose a random point right let's say you choose let's say you choose one of the points and you say that okay i'll shoot it from here right so what you will do is let's say if there is one point lying like this uh, so let's say if this point was 1 comma 1 and let's say if there was another point 2 comma 2 and let's say there was another point 3 comma 3 right what's the slope between 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 it is nothing but 2 minus 1 upon 1 minus 1 so that will be 1 upon 1 that is 1 now what is the slope between 1 comma 1 and 3 comma 
right i hope that you have guys have understood this question right guys please hit the like button if you have if you have understood it now what's the slope between 1 comma 1 and 3 comma 3 can i say the slope is nothing but 3 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 that is x uh, y minus y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 i hope that you know that so that's nothing but 2 by 2 so that will be 1 right so i can say that all if i shoot from this particular point uh, assume that i am shooting from this point right uh, suppose this point was somewhere here assume i am shooting from this point so what will happen all these points will get shot down right because this is a straight line so that is what i have to do that is what i have to think that whenever whenever now one more thing is there one more thing is there suppose that at this particular point it is saying that if you are shooting from this particular point right if you are shooting from this particular point and there is a balloon lying at this particular point as well let's say this point is 0 comma 0 or any point so if the balloon is also lying at this particular point or anything like that is there so in that case what will happen in that case you have to say that okay uh, the balloon that is present at this particular starting point will also get burst right so that's that's what you have to do so basically you can do what you can find the slopes you can find the slopes right you can find for 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 a particular ith point right what you can do is for a particular ith point let's suppose for let's suppose that you try to shoot the uh, arrow arrow from a particular ith point right so from a particular ith point x comma y what you can do is for all the uh, rest of the for all the rest of the points including this point so if x comma x comma y same then the count will be incremented to one or things like that or whatever is the number of uh, values that's present on this index so what you can do is you can simply say that you will try it, if you try to shoot from the ith point then all the points that are lying that are having the same slope with this particular point right all the let's say you shoot from here and there are several points lying right there is one point lying here one point lying here one point lying here so all the points that are having the same slope will get uh, all the uh, their their balloon the balloons will get exhausted right the balloons will get burst so that is what you have to do that is i can say that for a particular random point p comma q right and this point x comma y the slope that is q minus y upon p minus x will be the same right so i'll always keep on incrementing the map i'll always keep on uh, incrementing in the map the points that are having the same slope with a particular ith point x comma y and after that in the end i can simply say that whichever uh, point whichever is the maximum number of balloons that i can uh, hit that will be my answer for for a particular kind of slope right does that make sense please write clear in the chat guys if you have understood it please write clear in the chat a little quick so that we can move forward have you understood this much part please write plus one in the chat please write clear in the chat if you have understood it right i hope that you guys have understood it that is if you choose a particular ith point to shoot from there and what you do is uh, you will try to calculate the maximum right so how I, how can you do this you have to use the concept of mapping because if there are points that are having the same so let's say the slope is 2.5 right and here the slope can be in doubles right so that's why you have to do let's say x uh, x minus uh, q and x uh, y minus q and x minus p right this is the slope so it can be in double as well so that's why what you have to do is you have to declare a map of double comma in right and what will this double slope this double will uh, store the slope right and this will store the frequency the count uh, the total number of uh, points that are having the same slope uh, th that are having the same slope right uh, shriya is saying clear what about others i hope that others are also clear with this particular point for this question right so that is what you have to do in this question now suppose that if you are shooting from this point right as it has been mentioned in the question that suppose that you have the point you are at the point x comma y right and you are shooting from this particular point now if there is a balloon already present present at this particular point then this balloon will also get shot down so that is what you have to check that if the point that you are checking if it is the same as this coordinate in that case you will do the count plus plus right that's what you will do and you have to try to maximize the uh, number of balloons that you will be uh, shooting so that's why what i'm saying is for a particular is point you will try to find in which particular slope you are uh, you are hitting the maximum and then you will always keep a track of the maximum for every is point that is the maximum hit that you can hit with a particular slope so that's how you will do it right please write clear in the chat if this much part is clear to everyone right so now i'll i'll write this pseudo code for a little bit of uh, uh, understanding purpose what i can do is i can start my i from 0 i will be lesser than n and i can do a plus i plus plus is the chance of getting negative value in the slope yes 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 there is a chance there is there is a chance that's why i'm using a map that's why i'm not using an array to store the indexes because there is definitely a chance that i can get the negative indexes right 
if I shoot from here to here or something like that happens. So in that case, I can definitely get a negative slope. That's always possible. That is always possible to get it. I can get the slope as negative or as a double or you can say decimal value. That's always possible for me. Right. So suppose that this is the point and X is equal to what? R A of I zero. Right. And Y is what? Okay. All of you are clear. Please give me a plus one in the chat. I one is the X coordinate, right? Then what I'll do is I'll iterate through all the points once again. So I'll start a J for J starts from zero. J is lesser than N and I'll do a J plus plus, right? So what's the, let's say P, what's the P coordinate? I'll say that, okay, the P coordinate is nothing but R A of uh, I J, uh, J zero, right? And Q coordinate is what? R A of J one, right? So that's the X and the Y coordinates, uh, basically, right? X axis and the Y axis. Then what I'll do is I'll calculate the slope in terms of double, right? So the uh, data type for slope will be double because it can be in decimal as well, right? So what I'll do is I'll do Q minus uh, P, uh, Q minus Y divided by P minus X, right? So that's how I'll calculate the slope. Then what I'll do is, then what I'll do is I'll do map of slope plus plus. So I'll increment the slope for this particular point. That is, I'll say that, okay, for this particular value slope, these are, uh, that will be the number of points. Let's say if there is slope 1.5, right? So if there are four points that are present uh, with the slope 1.5, so with respect to this point, starting point x comma y, uh, uh, with respect to the i8 point, in that case, what will happen? I'll say that, okay, map of 1.5 is equal to four, right? That is what I'll say. Please write clear in the chat, guys, if this is clear, right? Now there's one more thing. And every time before starting, I'll be having a map here, right? Every time after the ith point, I'll declare a map somewhere here. That is map of uh, double comma int mp, right? That is how I'll declare it before the jth, uh, jth loop starts, before the internal uh, nested loop starts, right? And then what I'll do is, once I'm done with this much part, right? So what I'll do is, I also need to check that suppose if the slope is zero, right? So that means that uh, if it can happen, that if my count if my uh, x, uh, if my p, uh, if my p is equal equal to x and my uh, q is equal equal to y, if this, that is the same point in that case, I'll do a count plus plus, right? So that will indicate that okay, this particular point is present. So that's how I'll do it. Then what I'll do is, what I'll do is, let's suppose I'm shooting from the ith point, right? So I'll have several slopes. So let's say in my map after for this particular ith point, for this particular ith point from which I'm shooting, ith cell that I'm shooting from, if I have let's say the slope, uh, let's say one slope with one is having a total three, right? Three points are there with slope one and slope with 2.5, there are total five points. Then there's slope with, uh, let's say four, right? And the total number of uh, points with this particular slope is, let's say one, right? And let's say I have my count initialized at as two. If my count is two, what does it mean? So basically it means that the slope, that I'm at the same point X comma Y, right? For the ith point I have, I might have, uh, let's say two uh, two balloons at that particular position, right? Or if the count is one, then I'll say that, okay, uh, at the point X comma Y, there is itself a balloon, right? So that will also get shot down. Then what I'll do is I'll iterate through this particular map. And what is the maximum frequency? The maximum frequency is five, right? Out of three, five and one, the maximum frequency is five. So five is the maximum frequency plus one, this particular count, because at this particular X comma Y co coordinate, I have one more balloon. So five plus one will give me six, right? So I, in the result, I'll store six for this particular ith point. And every time for every point, uh, for every ith point, I am assuming it. So every time I'll keep on updating it, right? So that's how I'll do it. Every time for every ith point, my result will get updated. So that is how it will be done. Like uh, result is equal to nothing but, result, uh, result is equal to nothing but uh, this thing. Maximum of uh, result, comma, uh, the maximum that I've seen or count, right? That's how it will be done. I hope that you have understood it. Let me show you the code part for this particular approach so that you can understand it better. Let me first of all, submit the code. Please write clear in the chat guys, if the approach is clear to you, all of you, right? And hit the like button, please. Okay. Right. So now you can see that, okay, this problem got submitted. Now let me show you the code part for this particular problem, like how I've done it. So basically what I've done is I have the result as zero, basically uh, the number of the maximum number of values that I can hit, I've marked it as zero, the result as zero. Then what I've done is I have uh, tried uh, for every ith point, right? So I'll assume that, okay, every ith point I'm starting from there, right? So what will be the, 
what will be the uh, x coordinate x coordinate will be nothing but ai dot first or i can say if it's given in form of a pair right i i think that it's given in form of a pair here yeah so if it's given in form of the pair so the first will indicate the x coordinate and the second will coordinate is to be checked yes yes it has to be checked i'll show you uh Shri, i'll show you in the code right so x1 is equal to nothing but a of i dot first that in java it will be nothing but a of i is zero a, since we are using a pair here so a of i dot first will give me the x coordinate for the ith point and the y coordinate y1 coordinate that is the y coordinate will be a of i dot second then i'll declare an unordered map right unordered map with a double comma int int will store the count of the elements with that particular slope uh, and double is what the slope right and what i'll do is i'll mark my count as zero the count is what uh, how many points are how many balloons are there at the particular x1 comma y1 point that i'm starting from right so what i'll do is i'll have every time i'll have x2 x2 is equal to nothing but xj dot first and x y2 is equal to nothing but uh, aj dot second right so that's how i'll uh, have the x2 and y2 points that is the <clears throat> that is the point from the nested loop that i'm getting and if my x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is equal to y2 in that case i'll do a count plus plus right if the if there is balloon present at the same point right as i told you in that case i need to do a count plus plus why i need to do a count plus plus because if the balloon is present at my point so the question is saying that the point from where i am starting if the balloon is present at that point then it will get burst right so that's why I'll, whatever number of balloons are there at the particular x1 y1 point that i am starting at i'll count them else if the point is not present at the same coordinate in that case what i'll do is i'll calculate the slope slope is equal to nothing but y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and i'll count the uh, i'll count this particular slope right i'll increment the frequency of this particular slope right now once this once this internal loop is over so once for the point x1 comma y1 that is for a particular ith uh, ith cell for a particular ith point in the uh, in the grid if i have calculated the all the slopes in the map so what i'll do is i'll iterate through the map so i'll mark my auto it is equal to map dot begin so i'll start the iteration and what i'll do is I'll calculate what is the maximum that I can store from this map. So the result is equal to nothing but maximum of result comma it dot second. It dot second is storing the frequency for a particular slope plus the count. That is the count is the total number of uh, points that are there at the point x1 comma y1 only in the second loop. So I'll do it and I'll keep on moving in the map. Once I'm done with that, so the result will be storing the maximum for the ith point. And every time I'll be doing it, so it will store for all the i points. So in the end, I'll return the final result. That is the maximum number of balloons that I can hit in a particular direction, right? Now, I hope that you have understood this particular question, right? Is this question clear to everyone? Please write clear in the chat, guys, if it is clear to all of you, right? Is this question clear to everyone? Please write clear in the chat. Please give me a plus one in the chat. Now, for doing this particular problem, since for every i th point, right? I hope that it's clear to everyone. So what I'm doing is, for every ith point, I'm assuming that I have a, I have x1, y1 coordinate, right? So, and what I'm doing is for every i. So, for every i, I'm finding j, j is starting from 0 and j is going till n. So, I, I find point y, x2, y2. And what I'm doing is I'm counting the slopes, right? So, that's why since I'm using two loops, so order of n time for the outer, order of n time for the inner. So, it will be overall time complexity will be order of n square, right? I hope that this part is clear. That the time complexity for this particular approach would be nothing but order of n square and the space complexity since I'm using a map right to store or in the worst case I'll be storing n different uh, slopes so that's why what will happen uh, the space complexity will be order of n right is this much part clear to everyone it's clear to Aditya what about Shreya what about uh, Dinesh what about Peaky Blinder what about Mahesh everyone Harshit Please write yes in the chat and hit the like button guys if you have understood this particular question. Uh, I'll walk you through the code once again if you want to see. Basically what I said was, uh, I'll have a result initialized to 0 that is the maximum number of balloons that I can hit in a particular direction. I'll have x1 and the y1 that is the, for the ith point I'll have the x1 and the y1. Assume that x1, y1 is the point from which I'm uh, shooting the arrows in all the directions. I'll have an unordered map so that I can store the slope, uh, the count of the all the slopes, right? After that, I'll run a loop j from 0 till n. I'll have the point x2 and y2 for the jth, uh, jth one. And if x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is equal to y2, that means I'm at the same point. So the question is saying that if I'm at the same point, so I'll do count plus plus, right? 
uh, basically that will uh, in that case that particular menu will be definitely short right that's why i'm doing a count plus plus because that will be definitely short if i'm at that particular point and if that if i'm if the there's a different slope if the point is not lying at the same if x1 and y1 x2 x1 x2 and y y1 and y2 are not at the same so in that case what i need to do is i need to do map of slope plus plus right so i'll calculate the slope as y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and i'll increment the slope then i'll iterate through this map and what I'll do is I'll try to find the maximum number of values that I can hit for this particular i and for every i since I will be doing that so in the end I'll when I'll return the result so it will store the maximum number of arrows that I can hit in a particular direction. I hope that this particular question is clear to everyone right. Please write yes in the chat if this question is clear to everybody right. Okay. So this was the problem it was asked in PayPal right and the today's problem of the day is concatenate uh, two numbers. So you can make sure to solve this particular problem. Eight hours are still left for this particular problem. So try to solve it. And guys, please hit the like button and write uh, clear in the chat so that I know that everything is uh, everything has been understood by all of you. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. This was it for today's problem of the day. I'll see you in the next live. Till then, take care.